dear students this lecture has been created to uh, let you know about the basic electrical engineering lab about the various experiments that you will cover in this particular lab and how the evaluation of this lab is done so to start with first of all the outcome of this particular lab are there are four outcomes as listed here the first outcome is that uh, after going through this particular lab you will be able to practically verify all the laws like kvl and kcl and all the theorems that you would study in your theory for example your superposition theorem maximum power transfer theorem thevenin theorem and norton's theorem then the second outcome is that you would be able to understand that what are the all parameters that are involved in the electrical systems how to measure those parameters like current voltage power resistance capacitance all those parameters the third outcome is that you would be able to understand the resonance phenomena there are certain experiments in this lab which are related to the resonance now what is resonance that you would understand during your theory classes so in theory classes it will be uh, taught that what is resonance and how the resonance is achieved so the practical experiment related to resonance has been mentioned in the lab experiments which will be covered during the lab then the last outcome is that you would be able to evaluate the transformer parameters you would be able to understand what is a transformer what are the various windings in the transformer how do they operate what are the various tests that are performed on the transformers and what are the purpose or objectives of performing such tests so all the experiments have been divided into these four outcomes of the lab let us see the various experiments that are that are in this particular lab there are total of 13 experiments so out of those 13 experiments the first six experiments are mentioned here the first experiment is to verify the kirchhoff's voltage law kvl in dc circuits so kvl basically as far as theory is concerned kvl states that in any given circuit the net voltage or in any given mesh the net voltage is zero summation of all the voltages is zero so this theoretical concept is verified practically in this particular lab similarly the kcl is also verified it says that in any given network the net current at the junction of the given network is zero for example in this network the net current here is zero so summation i is zero so this is what kcl states so this will also be verified practically in this particular lab along with these th two basic laws we also perform the experiments related to the theorems and we verify these theorems practically then rest of the seven experiments are mentioned here so all these experiments are related to the ac circuits the first five first six experiments which were which are mentioned here are related to the dc circuits however the rest of the seven experiments which are mentioned here are related to the ac circuits so the first experiment among them is the experiment number 7 which is related to the a measurement of meter constant of single phase energy meter in this experiment you will learn about the energy meter what is an energy meter and how do we measure the meter constant of the energy meter and what is its significance then in the next experiment experiment number 8 we will understand what is power how to measure the power 
and what is power factor and how to measure the power factor practically for any three phase balanced circuit using the wattmeter so wattmeters are basically the instruments which are used to measure the power then in the next experiment we understand how to perform the open circuit test on the transformer and what is the purpose of performing the open circuit test the basic purpose is to measure the iron losses or core losses of the transformer so why do we measure iron losses why do we measure core losses of the transformer that will be uh, made clear in the experiment in this particular lab then along with open circuit we also perform the short circuit test on the transformer to measure the copper losses or which are also known as winding losses so this will also be understood practically after that we will see how to uh, you know reverse the direction of uh, the rotation of a three phase induction motor uh, by a method which is known as phase reversal method generally if you have seen the ac motors for example your fan so fan keeps on rotating in the same direction okay so but we have the method which is known as phase reversal method in which we can reverse the direction as far as dc motor is concerned by changing the polarity we can reverse the direction of the rotation of the motor but ac motor we need to have the phase reversal technique then in the second last experiment we have a concept which we call as a uh, resonance basically so resonance will be understood through the current versus frequency characteristics of the series rlc circuit what is resonance what is its significance how do we measure resonance practically how do we verify resonance practically through the current versus frequency graph that will be understood in this particular experiment for the series circuit similarly for the parallel rlc circuit the same thing is done uh, and the resonance is studied for parallel rlc circuits so in this way we have 13 experiments minimum of 10 experiments need to be performed and written on the in the files it depends upon the uh, course coordinator uh, for the rest of the three experiments to decide so minimum 10 are required there may be 11 12 or all 13 experiments performed then let us come to the evaluation part the lab carries total of 100 marks and these 100 marks are divided into three components internal marks midterm exam and then interim exam the internal marks carries 25 marks and similarly midterm are of 25 and interim are of 50 marks now the internal marks are evaluated or assessed by evaluating the students performance based on the uh, lab experiments based on the file whether they get the file checked in time or not and the viva vosa vosi uh, you know taken during the Uh, lab basically while the student gets the file checked so on the basis of these components the, the internal marks are evaluated for the lab and the midterm exam here students are required to uh, write and perform the the lab experiments and then viva voci is also conducted so these two things are done to uh, evaluate the midterm exam for 25 marks similarly for interim marks the external exam is conducted and so students are required to write and perform the lab experiments and then viva voci is also conducted so the external examiner comes and the viva voci is conducted in front of external examiner so in this way this lab is uh, evaluated so this lab plays a very important role 
uh, in understanding the basic concepts of the electrical engineering uh, you will uh, understand the various things uh, which you see around you in your daily life how to uh, see how to understand those things those current or voltages or power and how to um, uh, understand the energy consumption at your house how to uh, how this energy meter measures the energy electrical energy uh, what is the unit of electrical energy how the electricity bill is uh, you know uh, generated so there are certain things which you will understand during this lab you will practically uh, will have a you know experience hands on experience uh, for this these experiments so thank you so much